So here we are, getting ready to draw. All right, I got my knitting needle in my hand. I got my eraser right here if I need it. All right, I got my pencil. All right, got a couple of extra pencils here in case I drop one or for whatever reason. All right. Uh, start out uh, with how I'm holding the pencil. Right, I'm going to just simply uh, put the pencil in my hand like this and through in the future um, lessons I'll talk more and more about how to, to hold the pencil. But when you're doing this you should try to adopt this, uh, this uh, way of holding it uh, sooner rather than later. Right, there's nothing wrong with holding your pencil like this right, when we're doing little tiny detail work. Uh, but in the beginning stages of a drawing when we're just doing the lay-in you want to be farther back so you have a looser um, uh, looser motion. <clears throat> okay, uh, so here you can see we're looking at the, the simple uh, box over here, right? And uh, I can honestly say, uh, you know, people always ask, what's the, what's the hardest part of the drawing? And, you know, I, I, people, people assume, I think, that, uh, um, that, that the hardest part is the details at the end. Uh, details are easy, right? The details are easy if you put the structures in in the right place. Right? The underlying structure, the initial lay-in, um, is in my mind the most important part. Right? That is the foundation we're going to build our drawing on. Right? So the, the hardest part of the drawing in my mind, uh, the hardest part of the drawing is, is really getting started. You know, sort of that blank page. Right? So you know, people ask, you know, how, how, how big or how small should you make a drawing? Well, it's how big do you want it? Now, whatever the initial marks that you make in the, um, in the drawing, that's going to set up the overall size and proportion. Right? Now, in terms of the measuring, I was saying that you know, I could, I could right, you know, measure the, first, uh, the, the total height of the box and say it's this big and then come over and directly transfer it. But that would mean that my box could only be this big. You know, what if I want to draw the box this big? Right? So, <clears throat> uh, so the hardest part is really just making an initial, initial determination, right? So I'm gonna look at, uh, for me, uh, this line right here, right? this line right here um, is the closest thing to me. So I'm going to use that to establish the overall sort of size of the box that I'm gonna draw. All right. And I'm gonna make a sort of line there. And I'm gonna say my box is gonna be that big. Now what I'm seeing of the box is only this big. And you can see that's much bigger, but that's how big I want to draw the box. Right? So I'm, I'm in control of that. Right? Um, you know, you'll hear a lot of times, oh, I could never draw, I could never make a straight line. Well, who cares? Right? My line isn't perfectly straight, it's just an initial thing. Right? If we were doing a longer drawing, we would go over it in so many different ways and push and pull and mo move it around. It doesn't matter if it's straight. In addition to that, um, uh, we see through a curved lens. Right? Most of the lines that you see are not actually straight. Your brain is just telling you that they're straight. And so it kind of corrects it for you. But we see everything in a slight curve. So don't worry about it if you think you can't draw a straight line. Who cares? All right, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to that Y shape, all right? the chevron shape that's on the top of this box. Right? So I've drawn this right here. Right? <clears throat> so I'm going to go like this. Right? And what you can see is that I'm looking through my eye is looking through this line like this, and I'm lining it up on the top. So I'm lining it up on the top of this box like this, all right? So I'm gonna take my knitting needle and I'm gonna hold it like this. I'm gonna hold it somewhat close to my body, and right? If I hold it far out here and I try to move over, I'm gonna hit the, hit the board. I, I don't wanna do that. Right? So I'm gonna just go like this, and then just lean over here, all right? And that was started about there, all right? So notice I'm not, taking this and going right to the drawing pad like that. Right? So all I'm doing is seeing through. Right? So now I can just come along and make a line something like that. Right? And I'm going to check that. Right? Right? And I like that. That looks pretty good. Right? And then we'll go over to the other side. I'm going to do the same thing. Right? Goes to about there. Right? And so I'm going to then Make another line, something like that. My hand's a little shaky this morning. I, as I, those of you who were in my class the other day, I was mentioning that I was a little bit sick and uh, um, I took a bunch of cold medicine so that I could do this demo here. And you see the cold medicine's making me a little bit shaky. <clears throat> 
but I don't care, it doesn't matter, I can still draw. Just because you're a little shaky, so what, right? So now this is what I have. I have this kind of Y-type shape here, right? How far back does this go? How far does this go? How far does this go? Um, uh, none of that is really determined at this point in time, right? Uh, because I started with this initial, uh, uh, this front line right here, uh, I'm going to try to get uh, a sense of that one, right? So I'm gonna come back here and I'm say that this is gonna be the back of my box, right? So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a comparative measurement. I'm gonna measure the distance from here to here, straight across, right? Straight across, right? And I'm gonna bring it down, I'm gonna compare it to this, right? right? So that goes, do you see this little, this little mountain right here, right? So when I compared the distance from there to there, it was about the same as to the bottom of the snow. Right? Let me check that again, right? I'm going like this. Uh, no, I don't. It goes. It goes to like kind of the uh, somewhere right around, right around here. Right? So now I'm going to take that measurement, right? And then I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to say that that point. So the distance from here to here is almost. It's just about double. Right? So there's one, and there's two. Right? So that means that this one goes down to about there. Right? And so that gives me the height to width. A height to width on an object, those are, those are its proportions. Right? Um, an orange, a black and white photograph of an orange and a black and white photograph of a lemon, you would be able to tell the difference. Right? Because the proportions of a lemon look different than the proportions of an orange. Right, so, uh, and we know those proportions, right? So I know that this is then gonna come back down like this, and then this is going to come down like this. Now it would be a really common sort of mistake, right, for people to then say, well, this should then be the distance to here and make a mark there, right? The distance from here to here is not the same as the distance from here to here. So when I measure that, I can go over and look back, and I can tell you that the front is farther, uh, or is longer. The reason is that the, this front line is closer to us, right? So in perspective, this one should be shorter, right? How much shorter? I'm not gonna get out a micrometer and, and measure exactly how small it is, right? What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take another angle measurement. Right? So I'm gonna go like this. <clears throat> and because these are both receding to a common point that's off to the side somewhere over here, these two need to converge, right? And you can see in my angle, I can check it, that the one in the front right, is a little bit longer than the one in the back. Right? I made that line though without checking its measurement, so I'm going to take a comparative measurement of this one. Go to about there. Right, it's a little bit more than half, all right? And that looks good. All right, so let's go up to the top of this one. All right, and these should be different angles. Now, we'll, when we get into perspective, we'll talk about how this and this and this are all going to converge on a common point. But for now, we're doing these all just by measuring, right? We're really just measuring these angles. It looks like it comes to about here. It comes to about there. Connect that down there. Connect that there. All right, and then I'm gonna check that the one in the front needs to be, and you can see the one in the front is longer than the one in the back. Check those angles, check that angle, check that angle, check that angle, All right, and then the last one over here. Comes to about here. Right. So this line is closer to us than this line. So this one needs to be larger than the one in the back, and it is. And 
that is how you draw a box. Right? We can check our we can check this too by drawing x's across here. Right? So we can measure that angle, and that looks good. Right? We can measure this angle. Oh, that was a smidgy bit off. Let's see. Let's look at that again. Right about there. That should maybe come to a little bit higher. Right. See when we're, we're kind of light and loose like this, then we can keep kind of adding. Right. Right. So there's one simple box. All right, let's add some more uh, and get some more complexity on this thing. So I've added a couple of additional boxes. And we're going to sort of build off of what we have. All right, so uh, I'm going to start with this other box that's right about, goes about here. All right, and how high up does it come? All right, I got to find a common measurement, all right? So I'm going to measure the distance from here to where that is. Right, and I'm going to go over to here. All right, it's about one third. All right, now in a drawing, uh, artists, I believe, right, artists need to be able to know halves and thirds. Right? So if I were to draw two things here, I could very easily determine that this is about half. Right? I could also then very easily determine that this right, is about a third. Right? One, two. Right, one, two, three. Those look like three fairly equal parts. Right, and I and I'm doing that without even uh, without without measuring or anything. So being able to see halves and thirds. So this corner of this box right here, in my mind, starts about a third of the distance from here to here. Right, so that's about there. Right? So I'm going to say that that starts about there. Mm -hmm. It's just a little bit past that sort of thing. So that one goes up to about there. Mm -hmm. um, I could then say that this is about the same distance as this. Right? So the beginning of that box of peanut butter panda puffs right there right, starts about there. And I could also draw a line, straight line down through and see that that's about at a third of this. Right? So I got that box coming up here like this. Right? How far up does that box go? Right, that box goes a little bit less than the distance from here to here. Right? So it goes up to about there. Right? Right, I can test that by then making an angle measurement from here to the corner to here to here. Right? And kind of checking that angle. All right, and that angle going up there, that's just a sort of uh, thing. That, that's telling you that that's about right. All right. So now from here, on those panda puffs, I can make that same. My neighbor's air compressor just went on. You can hear that in the background, making the whole thing shake. So if the video is shaking a little bit, we can, we can blame my neighbor. How far over is the edge of that box? Right, I'm going to measure that. I'm measuring the distance from here to there. I'm going to bring that back over, and I'm going to say it's about half of this part right here. Right, so that puts that about, I'm going to go about there. Right, that's going to give me the edge of my box over here. Right. All right, again, so. bottom of that box, right? The bottom of that box, right? It's that same little one-third measurement, right? And that's about here. Mm -hmm. Notice I'm not trying to use uh, any of the other angles. I'm not saying, oh, this needs to be the same as that. I'm treating each angle on its own and measuring it. 
Okay, so now I can bring down the edge of my cereal box over here, something like this. Yeah. All right, let's go over. Oh, I hope I have, don't run out of room over here. That was poor planning on my back. Okay, so this one is a little bit more than the distance from here to here. All right, that, was, that gives me that. And then over here, I'm gonna go like this. It's about three quarters of this box. All right. So you can notice I just, used, I, just, I just did two different measurements in order to find this sort of line. All right. The bottom of that one comes up a little bit here. It says it's sitting just a smidgy bit back. Smidgy bit is a term you'll hear me use a lot. It's, a, it's an actual scientific term. No, I'm just making that up. In, in drawing, there's always um, like a, a smidgy bit more, a smidgy bit less, right? So, so when, you, when you compare things, Frequently, two things aren't exactly the same. So being able to know a little bit, uh, and, and I, I don't need to explain, my smidgy bit might be a little bit different than yours, all right? So each person might be able, but, but you'll know what it is and you'll know how to use it, all right? So see how I'm kind of just plotting all these things out here, all right? I don't have to draw all of this box and that one. I'm kind of building off this sort of center, central thing that I have over here. All right, that one goes to about here. So notice I, I, I like to make the mark as to where it's going and then make the line afterwards. And again, not overly concerned with something being a straight line or not. Okay, that doesn't really concern me all that much. I, just, I want an indication. Right? I'm trying to, trying to get an initial sort of indication of where all these forms in. Right? This is called a lay-in. Right? We're laying in all of these forms. So now I'm going to check the angle from this corner to this corner. Right? And that angle should be something like this. Right? And then I combine, and yep, that works perfectly. Right? So that's giving me the overall sort of sense of what these things, there's an angle from here to here. Right? That's from this corner to this corner right here, this corner to this corner, from this corner to this corner. Right? And then I'm going to go up on this. <clears throat> so how far does this line go? That's going to tell me how thick that box of, uh, those are cheddar bunnies, right? How thick, the, how thick that box of cheddar bunnies are. And so, in an ideal world, you could you could make the box thicker, and then you could then you could have more cheddar bunnies. Right? But that's the way that the box came at the store, so that's what we get. All right, so you can see that the back of the panda puffs is aligned with the corner of the cheddar bunny. All right, so so those things share a thing. So I could measure the distance from here to here, or I could measure the distance from here to here. All right. Or I can measure that. I'm going to measure it straight across, like straight across. All right. So from that, the edge of the one edge of the panda puffs to the other edge. All right. Okay. And it is the same as. Let's see. What, are, what could that be the same as? Oh, it's a little more than half of this. All right. So that's telling me that that's somewhere about right there. Mm -hmm. All right. Now that doesn't quite look right. I think it's a little bit longer. So I'm going to try something a little bit different. Right. I'm going to hold a straight line up right, through the whole thing. And I'm going to look at where this, the, the back of this box lines up with this box. Right. So I'm pulling a straight line up from where I'm seeing. And I can see that it's going, well, for me, it goes to right about where that S is in the smack. So when I look at it from this angle, I'm seeing that as being about kind of here. All right, so then holding that up, does that line up? Right, yes, actually it does. All right. All right, that gives me something like 
this. Right. So then this becomes where the back of the cheddar bunny, uh, the cheddar bunnies are. Let's see, this edge right, of, uh, of the cheddar bunnies now, right, we'll measure that. And that's about three quarters of this, so about that. And that's giving me about there. Check some of these measurements. Okay, so the corner sits just a smidgy bit over past this corner here, right? So I give me a corner about there. It gets a little bit harder for me as the drawing goes, moves up a little bit, right? Uh, I should actually move the, the, the easel down a little bit because it's getting a little bit high on me. Again, I can check the X's on the top. You can always draw an X on a, a box surface, right? So that goes from there to there and there to there. Right. So, some checks going around. The corner from here to here. That looks pretty good. This should maybe be a little bit higher, I feel. Add a little bit more. Just a little bit more to this. Now the nice thing about drawing in this way, where it's sort of all nice and light and loose and everything, right, is that it's very easy to go in and change these things. Right, so notice how I draw like this in order to kind of do our loose lay-in. Right, when it's time later on, we'll be able to go in and commit 
more specifically to particular lines. Right, and notice that you know, we get a little bit of choice in here. Right? And that's going to be very important for later phases in the drawing right, when we want to, um, to make subtle adjustments. Right? We need to determine uh, whether the, 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 the shading that we put in, is it, is it on the box or is it on the, uh, on, on the background? Right? So uh, staying loose um, as long as possible is always going to be your best bet. Right, and determining sort of what exactly is kind of going on. Mm -hmm. That'll enable you to put in those details that you'll want to put in um, as time kind of goes on. All right, so uh, there's boxes, right? Uh, your assignment is going to be to put together seven of those, all right? Um, and uh, um, I look forward to seeing those and seeing you guys again uh, on Monday.